Hi guys, jumping straight into it, I'm just prepping Shakara's skin with a bit of Garnier micellar water just to remove any excess residue before we apply any makeup. Next, I'm applying some toner. I'm using the Dickinson's Witch Hazel on a cotton pad again just to neutralize the pH of her skin and also this is an astringent so it's just going to help to shrink pores and also control oil production. Next, I'm going in with some of the Benefit Porefessional Matte Rescue, which is an anti-shine product that I'm going to apply underneath the primer just to reduce any oil throughout the day. Next, I'm applying some primer to Shikara's skin. Here, I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless just on a stippling brush to get a nice, even, fast coverage. Starting off with eyes, I'm first applying a base to the upper portion of Shikara's eyelid. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be applying a black cream eyeliner to the lid so there's no point really putting product there because it's just going to make it look washed out and not adhere directly to the skin. Then I'm just blending that base in with my fingertips and a blending brush just so that the transition will be nice and smooth between the eyeshadow and the concealer. Next I'm going in and applying some corrector to Shikara's blemishes. I'm using the Cinema Secrets Pro Corrector shade here in the red corrector shade which is slightly green based and applying this with a concealer brush. I'm also taking a slightly pink based concealer just underneath the eye area as well and that's just going to correct any dark circles before we put the foundation over top. Next, I'm going to start to apply some of the black eyeliner, which is going to create the base for our smoky eye. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in black and applying this with a concealer brush just to get the most amount of coverage and really pack that product onto the eyelid. I'm just asking Shikara to look up now because that's going to transfer the product into the crease and I can see exactly how far I can take the gel liner. Before that gel eyeliner sets, I'm also taking some black eyeshadow. This one is Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm applying that with a tissue just to prevent any fallout from falling down on the cheek and ruining our base. Next, I'm going in with some ground brown eyeshadow from MAC and using that on a small bullet brush to start to blend out the edges of our smoky eye. I'm just going back and forth with windscreen wiper motions just to ensure that that product is nice and blended throughout the crease. A trick here is that if you're having problems blending out your eyeshadow, you can take some translucent powder and use this just to go over the blend just to help to diffuse those edges a little bit more without going in with more eyeshadow and packing more product onto the lid. Next I'm just taking more ground brown eyeshadow from MAC and I'm working it into the crease, slowly blending so we get some nice definition in the crease. Next I'm just repeating everything I did on the first eye onto the second eye. The reason that I do one eye at a time when I'm working with gels is because if you do both eyes at the same time you're not going to have enough time to blend uh, the eyeshadows into the crease and to set the product. So it's best just to take your time and do one eye and that way you're going to get a nice blend on both eyes. Moving on to the base, I'm just taking some Element 2 airbrush foundation in my airbrush system and I'm just airbrushing over the top of Shikara's face. I'm also just going back under the concealer and patting out any creasing so that when we apply the shadows to the bottom lid we're going to get a nice even blend. 
Moving on to powder contour, I'm just taking some of the Napoleon Powder Foundation in the shade N4 Mahogany and just buffing that underneath Shakara's cheekbones and the perimeters of her face just to give a little bit of definition. Next, I'm just taking a makeup wipe to remove any excess foundation from the airbrush. Moving on to brows, I'm just taking a brow brush and pushing the brow hairs upwards to reveal the shape. To give some light definition to Shikara's brows, I'm just going in with a mechanical brow pencil from NYX in the shade Taupe and lightly feathering the product through the brows. I then just like to take the end of the brow pencil and just lightly brush up through the brows to soften any excess product. To build some more definition and shape, I'm now just taking some brow powders and layering that over the brow pencil just to set that in place and add a little bit more intensity to the brows. To apply the gel liner to the lower waterline, I'm just taking it on a tight liner brush and then just using another brush to lightly pull down Chikara's waterline just so I have enough space to safely access that area. Then I'm just taking a small bullet brush and gently blending underneath the eye area and some of the eyeliner is just going to bleed down and we're going to create the base of the smoky eye from there. I'm then just taking some powder eyeshadow and then just lightly buffing over that gel liner just to build intensity and set the gel liner in place. And then I'm just repeating what I did on the first eye to the second eye just so I have enough time to blend all the product properly. To further blend out the shadows, I'm now just taking some of that ground brown eyeshadow I used from before and blending that on the lower lash line. To create a cohesive smoky eye look, it's important that you take anything you do on the top and you place it on the lower lash line just so it's nice and cohesive and blends seamlessly. Because I've already done the base, I'm now just placing a tissue on Shikara's cheek and then taking some black uh, eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Corrupt and then just lightly buffing that onto the top lid just to build intensity that we may have lost when we applied the foundation. Once all the eyeshadow is applied, I'm then just going back over the crease and making sure the blend is seamless. Now I'm just taking some Spice Lip Liner from MAC and using that to outline the shape of Shikara's lips. I'm just using a slightly darker lip liner than the lipstick I'm planning on using as it's going to give some more definition to a nude lipstick. Then I'm just applying Myth Lipstick from MAC to the center of Shikara's lips and then blending that into the lip liner with a lip brush. Once the lipstick has been applied, I then just like to go back in with the original lip liner to build some more definition and help reinforce the blend.
Once the lips are completed, I'm then just taking some black mascara and coating Shakara's eyelashes so they blend nicely into the falsies. I'm now just taking some extra gel liner and pressing that into the base of Shikara's lashes to fill in any gaps. Next I'm just applying a neutral toned blush to the apples of Shikara's cheeks to help match the nude lip liner and blend into the contour. Then for highlighter I'm just taking some soft and gentle from MAC and then just placing that on the high points of Shikara's face so the cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow and also underneath the brow bone as well. Then to set everything in place I'm just taking some MAC Fix Plus and then applying false eyelashes. The style I'm using here is Miss Milan from Model Rock. To complete the eye look, I'm then just taking some additional mascara on a mini disposable mascara wand and lightly coating the bottom lashes. I'm also taking some mascara and then just lightly coating the tips of the upper lashes just to blend the falsies in with Shikara's natural lashes. Because this look was for a photo shoot, I'm just applying some clear lip gloss to the centre of Shikara's lids to add that nice patent leather finish. Using this product isn't recommended for everyday use because it won't last that long, it will crease. Um, so I recommend instead to use some black uh, glitter and that will last a lot longer and give a similar look to the lid. And that completes this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.